Namaste, I am Ganga Dalala and welcome to this English grammar tutorial class. Today we are going to talk about tenses in English grammar. Generally, a tense is the time of actions or events and it can be defined as any of the forms of a verb that may be used to show the time of action or states expressed by the verb. And there are mainly three tenses in English grammar. They are present tense, past tense, and future tense. And each tense is classified into four different tenses. In present tense, simple present, present continuous, present perfect tense, and present perfect continuous tense. And in the past tense, simple past tense, past continuous tense, past perfect tense and past perfect continuous tense. In the same way in the future tense, simple future, future continuous, future perfect tense and the future perfect continuous tense. And today we are going to talk about some important tenses in English. And let's start our class from simple present tense. Simple present tense, I write, we write, you write, they write, he writes or she writes. And now here, I, we, you, they, he and she are subjects. And write, write is the verb. And the verb is used as and now here I and it takes plural verb though it is singular so I write. We is plural subject it takes plural verb that is right and you takes plural verb right and they is plural and it takes plural verb right and he and she are the singular subjects and it takes singular verb rights. And the structure of simple present tense is like this, subject, and when subject is plural, the main verb is used in the best form, it is also said V1. And subject, when subject is singular, it takes main verb in singular, and main verb is used in singular, that is by adding S or ES to the best form, that's called V5 form. Okay, let's uh, talk about uh, the uses of simple present tense. I mean the situations of simple present tense. And when or where do we use simple present tense? The first one is to express the facts or true in general. Okay, let's take some examples. I am a teacher, I teach students. I teach students is generally true and so this is simple present now here I text B1 that is best form of the verb and the second example Milan is a driver and what does he do and he drives a car is true and now here he is singular so he texts B5 or the verb with the S or ES and the next example, we live in Bhaktapur and now here we, we is plural and live, that is V1 form, so we live in Bhaktapur and it is true. So all these are the examples of simple present tense and these examples express facts are true in general. The second uh, situations of simple present is uh, uh, habits or regular work or things that happen sometimes or all the times and it is also commonly said the habitual actions and which is done from time to time okay let's take uh, some important time abbreviations and which uh, can be used to express the repeated actions or habitual actions the time abbreviations are usually, frequently, generally, mostly, daily, rarely, occasionally, always, never, ever, sometimes, nowadays, 
often, seldom, from time to time, every plus time, or once or twice plus time. Okay, let's take some examples of habitual actions or the actions that is uh, done from time to time or the repeated actions. Kumar always goes to market. And now here, Kumar is singular and it takes a singular verb goes. And we have time averbial always. And always uh, uh, means and, and it is done uh, every day or all the time and so this is habitual action and to express the habitual action we use simple present tense so Kumar always goes to market and it's the Kumar's habit so uh, we use simple present tense these boys mostly play outdoor games and now here mostly time I reveal and uh, something is done uh, from time to time or something is done uh, all the time and here these boys uh, is the subject and this is plural and so it uh, takes uh, plural verb that is play now the next example Svita reads lessons every morning and she does it every morning so it's her habit and here we have the time I reveal every morning and Smita is singular and it takes singular verb that is reads Next uh, use of the simple present tense is timetable action. Timetable action means that something uh, done according to the time. And when we do something according to the time and that is fixed, that is the timetable action. Okay, let's take some examples of timetable action. The film starts at 8 o'clock. The action, the film starts, uh, it's uh, uh, fix uh, and it starts at 8 o'clock and it doesn't start at 7 and it doesn't start at 9 and so it is fixed and so it is the timetable action. The next example, the first bus leaves at 5 in the morning and so this is also timetable action because the first bus leaves at, ta at 5 every day and uh, it's the is as rule and it's the timetable action so we use simple present tense the first bus is singular so it takes the, the singular verb leaves now the next uh, uh, situation of simple presence is uh, uh, proverbs or saying the example is a rotten apple spoils the barrel and the next example uh, walls have years and now here was is plural and so plural verb have is used here. The next example, a burnt child dreads the fire. We use simple present tense uh, to express proverbs or saying. And this is all about simple present tense. Okay, let's move to present continuous sense. Present continuous means the action that is going on at this moment or at the time of speaking. Let's take some examples of present continuous tense. I am working, we are working, you are working, they are working, he or she is working. And now here, am is used specially for the subject I and R is used uh, with uh, plural subjects and is is used for third person singular like he, she or the name of different persons. The structure of present continuous is subject plus uh, is or am or are plus uh, a verb in ing form. The, when do we use Present continuous sense, I have just uh, told you that uh, present continuous means the action that is going on at this moment. And to express this uh, thing, or that can also be said, so temporary actions or action in progress or things happening now or things started but not finished. Like I am speaking, I have not uh, uh, finished my speaking. Okay, let's take uh, uh, some important time abbreviations to express this situation. The time abbreviations are like uh, now, at present, at present also means now, 
at this moment, today, this plus time, uh, like the example this week. Uh, the example of the things happening now with the use of time abrovial, with the use of time abrovials, uh, like uh, I am reading a book now. So I am reading a book now, so that is not completed and it's going on and it's in progress. Now here, now is the time abrovial and it supports us to use the uh, present continuous tense here am is singular and I is first person and it always takes am as the B verb and then the verb uh, reading is the verb in ing form and so I am reading a book now it's going on and is the present continuous tense. Now the next example he is watching television at present and now here we have time abrovial at present at present also means now and he is singular so is as the be verb is used here for singular subject and watching is verb in ing form and he is watching television at present and this is in progress and he's continue now and he and he is going and watching TV so this is present continuous tense. The next example goals are pending at this moment at this moment means now and this is the time abrovial now and here goals and this is plural subject and B verb R is used here with the plural subject and Panting, this is the verb in ing form, so this is also present continuous tense. Goals are pending at this moment. Uh, we have another situation of the sentence, and that is uh, the imperative plus uh, present continuous tense. Imperative statements are generally command statements. Okay, let's go through the examples. Don't disturb me when. Don't disturb me when, now it means, and now and why, I am reading news. I am reading news. And next example, don't cross the road. And when don't you cross the road? And now it is, and so now here, don't cross the road is imperative. And don't cross the road, why a car is coming. And here, in these examples, we don't have uh, time abbreviates, but uh, the uh, imperative statements and which are used before the present continuous support us uh, to use the present continuous tense. The next uh, uh, situation is uh, uh, with uh, some attention words like listen, look and hurry up. And with the, this uh, attention word also help us to express uh, things that is going on at this moment. Like the example, listen. A child is crying. Listen, when? Now. Why? A child is crying. And now here, a child is crying. Child is singular and is singular power and crying is power in ing form. The next example, look, your father is coming. Your father is singular and uh, is a singular verb and so your father is coming is power in ing form. And now the next situations of the use of present continuous is future planned actions and future plans if decided. And we have decided to do something in future and for this situation really this is the pre future time and but we use present continuous tense. Let's uh, go through the examples. The first example, I'm flying to Italy next week, I booked an year ticket. Now the second sentence, I've booked a year ticket. This supports us, uh, this, this tells, this statement tells that we have decided because we have bought the year ticket. It means, and it is sure that we are flying. Yeah. So the present continuous is used for this situation. And the next example, the, we are going to Dakshinkali tomorrow morning. Yeah, will you also join us? Now everything has been ready for uh, puja and we are going to Dakshinkali tomorrow morning and it's sure. Now the exercise, so supply the correct tense, simple present or present continuous tense. Number one, Monica usually come to me and now this is the first, uh, first uh, statement, first sentence and what tense do we use here? 
and we are given the two options simple present or the present continuous tense and here monica usually come to me usually tam avril help us to use the present simple tense because uh, usually tells the repeated action or is uh, or habitual action that's why is the simple present here monica is singular so we use the singular verb singular verb means a verb best verb of best form plus s or es and that is b5 also so monica usually comes to me now in next sentence uh, number 5 look some come towards us and the look is the attention word someone is coming towards us so this is present continuous tense and the, the rest of the number and you will practice yourself now we are going to talk about the another present tense that is present perfect tense and now here uh, perfect means completed perfect means completed and now the present perfect means completed uh, in the present time Okay let's take some examples of uh, present perfect tense I have done the work you have done the work she has done the work he has done the work they have done the work though i is singular it takes plural verb that is have as the have verb and so to write a sentence in perfect tense and we need the have verb so uh, in you, next example you have and so you is plural and so you have and c is singular so c has and he is he subject he is singular and he has and they subject is plural so they have the structure of present perfect is subject plus has or have so has is used for singular subject and have is used for plural subject and then the main verb must be in past participle form and it is also said v3 okay let's go through some situations of, of the present perfect tense the first situations of present perfect tense may be uh, recent past actions recent past actions means actions uh, happen in the past and that completed at, uh, at present so this diagram shows and this is the recent time and the action completed at this point of past time because here we are and this time has been fast and okay let's uh, uh, take some important uh, time abbreviations to express the recent past actions the time abbreviations are already is used for the completed actions but uh, that is not uh, repeated again that is not uh, done again and once it has done and it is not repeated so already is used and recently just not yet so far ever and ever which question mark and never lately today uh, this year and etc okay let's take some examples of uh, recent past actions with uh, time adverbials she has already taken her meal and we have just arrived here the next use of the present perfect tense is past actions with present effect or the rituals the action happened in the past uh, the example john has lost his hat and when had john lost his hat the time is not mentioned here and he is looking for it and this is the effect and they have got an accident they are still in hospital as the result of the accident the next uh, uh, situations of the present perfect tense is action started in the past and still going on but which uh, state verbs to have or to be or to know is extra are not usually used in the continuous tense okay uh, here we use mainly two term adverbials they are the since plus point in time and since is used with point in time like 7 o'clock 
Sunday, January 1990, and all the time I reveal is four plus period of time. Period of time means the length of time, and the example are like two hours, and when there is two hours, we say for two hours. And a week for a week, a month and for a month. Okay, let's take some examples using time of reveals. I have not seen her for three years. This means uh, I saw her three years ago. From that time, I have not seen her. The next uh, sentence, she has lived here since 2010. And this means she came here to live in 2010. And she is still living here. 